Mrs. Gordon here. I'm sharing the story Emma Kate with you, which is written and illustrated by Patricia Polacco. While I'm reading this, I'm also going to be sharing my thinking with you as I synthesize. When I synthesize, I realize what my first thought is in the story, and as things change, I let my thinking get bigger and bigger as I go. Emma Kate is my best friend. We do just about everything together. Well, I have some thinking already. My thinking is that this is definitely a fiction story because this elephant is helping this little girl braid her hair. I'm also thinking that this friend, this elephant is named Emma Kate, and that this is the friend of this little girl. We walk to school together every morning. She sits next to me in class. My thinking is that maybe this is an imaginary friend for this little girl. We play together at recess. We sit together in the Cafe Gym Atorium at lunch. I think it's getting a little bit bigger. I'm feeling like maybe Emma Kate is the only one who is an imaginary friend here. The other people don't seem to have one. When we get home from school, we ride our bikes together. We do our homework together, too. Sometimes, even on a school night, she stays over. She loves my pet mouse, Gwendolyn. On weekends, Mama drives us to soccer practice. We take long walks and watch the clouds in the sky. Most of all, we love to read together. One day, Emma Kate got a real sore throat, and so did I. When we went to see the doctor, the doctor said that we would have to have our tonsils out. My thinking now is that it's probably a very good idea that this little girl has this imaginary elephant friend because getting your tonsils out is an operation and that could be scary. It would be nice to have a friend, real or imaginary. So we went to the hospital and got our tonsils out and then we both ate gallons of pink ice cream. Emma Kate is my best friend. We take our baths together, then we climb into bed. Sometimes when nighttime comes and I'm in my bed, I tell Mama and Daddy all about Emma Kate and the things we do together. They just smile and say, you and your Emma Kate, you have such an imagination. Good night, sweet pea, sweet dreams. Then they both give me a big kiss and tuck me in. On this page, my thinking has changed a lot. During this whole story, I have been thinking that Emma Kate is this elephant and that this elephant is the imaginary friend of a little girl. But now I am thinking that Emma Kate is the little girl in that she is the imaginary friend of an elephant.
and I dream of Emma Cates. Thank you for listening while I shared this story with you and also for listening while I shared my thinking with you. I was synthesizing. That's when my thoughts changed as I read the story. Originally, I thought that this was going to be a story about a little girl who had an imaginary elephant friend. And by the end of the story, my thinking had changed to an elephant girl who had an imaginary human girl for a friend. 